What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Honey Bee, back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who have been rocking with me from the start, I appreciate you guys all so very much. <clears throat> Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across our channel and you see something that you like right here, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below. You may also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel, you guys. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you guys. Hit the notification bell so that you can know when I upload content. Did I repeat that? I don't know. I, sometimes I draw a blank, you guys. You gotta excuse me. Um... Thank you for all the donations, like, share, subscribe, you guys. Our channel is growing beautifully um, and abundantly, might I add. I appreciate you also very much. I appreciate you um, for allowing me to do readings for y'all. I like my sage good and lit, y'all, because I want to clear off this energy because the last readings with this frenemy enemy energy. Oh, frenemy enemy. Okay. So this front of me enemy energy that's been coming out heavy. Um, make sure you're doing your return to senders. Make sure you're taking your spiritual baths and you're calling your energy back to you at the end of each day. You guys, you get a good sage off. Good sage off. Because, ooh, they've been doing the most. Sending y'all good energy. Whoever's sending my collect collective good energy. I return that to the sender tenfold. Whoever is sending my collective, the evil eye or negative energy, we also return that to the sender tenfold. And so it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into these messages, you guys. Let's see what the universe wants us to know. What we need to be made aware of at this time for our greatest and highest good. Keep myself protected as I deliver these messages. Keep my colony, my tribe protected as they receive these messages, guys. Excuse my voice. I don't know if my throat chakra is trying to close up. Someone doesn't want me to deliver messages. But I'm going to do so anyway. Y'all know. Um, what else? What else? Is there anything else? No? Okay, let's dive into the reading. Give me the message of spirit. What what does my what kind of energy is brewing? Buzzing. Oh brewing. Okay, so something is brewing. Something is brewing up in your life. Okay. What what does my collective don't see coming? What's brewing up and coming towards my collective then spirit? What does, what's coming towards my collective that they may not see coming? What's coming towards my collective? Okay. Rejection. Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. Oh, so someone may be coming towards you that you're going to reject, you guys. And this is going to send this person into a storm. So a storm is brewing. This is going to send this person into a storm. This is going to send them into, um, it's a make or break. You know, it's going to send them, it's going to be a catalyst for transformation. They're showing me the death card. Not a literal death, you know, you guys, but death is about transformation, right? So, this is going to cause change shifts. I hear shift in this person's life, but also shifts in your life, right? Because you rejecting this person, whoever this is, um, it's, it's going to be you choosing yourself. Finally, you're choosing yourself. And this is going to open up a whole bunch of opportunities for you. So not only is it going to send this person into spiritual awakening, but it's going to um, evolve you as well. Oh, okay. Work is here. I'm focusing on work to have more financial stability, right? So it's going to cause this person to grow up, to level up. It's going to cause them, I hear mature, it's going to cause them to mature. Like to actually take life seriously. Um, this person may. I don't know why I heard early 30s. 
or whatever this is whatever this person's age is you guys it doesn't matter it is like it's time you see the clock in the background like it's time for this person to take life serious to really work on and focus on themselves not only themselves but also their financial stabilities and for you like the catalyst for change within your life what's going to occur is going to open up opportunities um work related opportunities in your life right look miracles miracles is here oh y'all i like this i know you lost hope in us but i'm going to surprise you yeah this person is going to get their shit together and i don't know how long it's going to take them you guys but in the meantime and in between time um i don't advise you to wait you're advised to keep trucking for all because something is brewing a storm is brewing but it does take a while right something is stewing but even when you say instance cook a stew that that takes a while right it takes a while to to you know for the flavor to fit in for oh this person is, is about to find their rhythm i like this um also with you as well miracles are going to start to happen for you in your work life if you are um starting a career in your own business it's, it's it's time to believe in miracles there's i'm hearing the song i believe in miracles i don't know who sings that i don't know if it's a commercial or whatnot but yeah this is going to kick up it's going to brew up something in your life uh, a storm is brewing for them is going to be a storm is going to tear them down to make them better but when i hear like for you the, the storm is like it's going to be raining miracles it's going to be raining blessings okay it's about transformation in the life of you and this person Oh, but they are working on themselves. This person is still working on themselves because they want to come back and they want to provide. This person literally wants to surprise you. They want to take you by storm. Thank you, spirit, uh, with the changes that they are um, willing to make when it comes to you. Look, fatal event. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I could say, right? And this is going to be the fatal event in this person's life. Their fatal event here is going to be you rejecting their offer, you rejecting them shutting them down that's gonna be like a tower moment and it's going to be this is going to going to be what causes change in this person or maybe you could have told this person um something you could have had a conversation with this person it was a conversation like like never before and what you spoke to this person was facts and they understood that in that conversation it was time for them to get their shit together or they are going to lose you like this person feels like um they feel like they're gonna lose you Feeling, they're feeling like they're about to lose you with all the shady shit they, they've done to you, right? There's not a whole lot they can say. So even when you, you bring this to this person's attention, I hear apo the apologies or whatever. But this person has no, this cannot be justified, right? This person is at a point of taking accountability. Oh, this is deep. And for a lot of you, I hear this person has, um, they've never taken accountability for the shit that they've done. Now they are though. Now they are. I'm also hearing rejection is divine protection. So if any of you have applied for jobs or um, I hear work study or anything of that matter and you were you were um, chosen over, I'm here. Rejection is divine protection, right? You are not meant to go that route. Spirit, I hear there. I hear saving you like spirit is saving you for what you are meant for, right? For what it is you you're going to be doing is going to um, take you into complete harmony oh it's it's empty stage it flew all the way over there um so this person they feel empty like if you know if you two go um if you're not talking to this person or if you rejected this person like this person feels even even if you are talking to this person this person feels the emotional distance like they you, they feel you're you distancing yourself from them they feel like it's not what it used to be right they, they feel it they feel they feel the change within you and this is what's causing this person to change right i feel like for a while for a long time um you dealt you put up with this person's childish antics right this person was you were dealing with was a was a bit childish for a lot of you this person um it says children are important to me and it's affecting our connection um, so maybe this person has kids outside of you that they are, you know, they're, they're, 
they're having to take up care of but nevertheless like this person is is itself um is childish like you know you've dealt with this for a long time and i feel like the con the conversation whatever this conversation was whatever took place this person knew that they they have to grow they have to grow this person has to grow it's time for them to um elevate i wanted to say levitate it's time for this person to elevate um it's time it's time and for a lot of you you feel like it's going to take a miracle for this person to grow out of this this childlike entrapment that they find themselves in right this person just never took anything serious and now that they're about to lose you and they know it too now that they're about to lose you or they have lost you like this person it's like now that they're they're grasping at straws they don't know what to do and it's like they know they can't they can't they can't pull you back in with words nothing they do can bring you back in is going to require this person to change Ooh, ooh. this could be twin flame don't have to be what else spirit travel yeah this is this could literally be you traveling away from this person they want to travel the world and get lost in love together, right? This would be a miracle. Like, now this is what this person dreams about, you know? And I feel like they thought about this before. But, you know, you staying and settling for what this person, picking up what this person was putting down. They had no reason to change. Now they have a reason to change. Why? Because of the ending. I know endings are painful, but it's the it's best that we move on from now for now. And this is what you told this person. This is the conversation. This is what has them grasping for straws. This is what has this person frantic in their feelings. It says, I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right again? Right? And this may be something that this person asked you. When you put this when you put this connection to bed, this could be what this person asked you. Like um, they apologized, they gave their heartfelt apology. And don't get me wrong, if they have their apologies have not been sincere in the past, this apology was sincere. It I almost feel like you felt it. You felt the sincerity in this apology. Right? This was someone that you had tough beginnings with. Like you felt like you and this person just could not get on the same page. Like it was always tough. It was always an uphill battle with this person. They're showing me like ten of wands. Like, you know, like it was always tough. And even in this in this card, you see in the background, this um this boulder, this, what is it called? An asteroid? What is it called? It's here, right? It it started off tough and then to come to the final bloom, right? It's this was bound to happen. Like this is what brewed. It brew it's been brewing. This ending has been brewing since the beginning. Okay, thank you, spirit. Now I understand the brewing refer the reference. This ending has been brewing since the beginning let me write that down because i think that's gonna be the title of this Let me use these. Okay, wow. Okay. So there's an ending coming. There's going to be an ending coming that you don't see coming. Or maybe you do see it coming. This person may not see it coming. Right? Yeah, look, sudden action, impulsive. Like it may happen quickly. You know, it may be one su it may be one certain thing that this person does or this person says, like with the eight of wands. It may be something as simple as a little text, like a text. Like something they say is going to piss you off. Like it's going to tick you clean off and then you going you're going to land to them. Like I hear you're gonna land to them. You're going to let them have it. Like I hear I see air travel travel here. This could be something as simple as um, this person promising you um, to take you out or that you two are going to spend some time together. Are they going to come see you and they don't? But, like, this is their pattern. This is their routine. It's, it's, um, I'm hearing the song. Is, I think it was 3LW. That was the group where they go, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of your broken promises, promises. Look, five of pinnacles. Like, you feel like this person leaves you out in the cold always. Like, you feel like you're always left out when it comes to this person. Like, this person may do... Um, you know, quick talking, like they'll come in, love bomb you, or just chatting you up, talking you up, and then it's like it's almost like they pick you up and they throw you up, and when you fall, they let you hit the ground, like you know what I'm saying? Like they 
Oh, wow. Okay, you feel like this person is toxic. Like this person has an addictive pattern. Like, you know, like endings. Like, I'm, I hear I'm ready to get off this roller coaster. I'm ready to get off this ride. Here, again, nine of wands. Ongoing battle, weary, tired, resilient, guarded, wounded, courage, persistence, setback. Like, it's always setback after setback. You feel like you could never get on the same page with this person. There was a lot of conflict and disagreements. You feel defeated. You feel like you lost out. You feel like this situation was a no is a no no win situation. Oh wow. Okay. This is this is you feel like there was a, a lot of deception. A lot of scheming, lies, cheating, theft, sneaky, avoiding responsibility, backstabbing, stabbing, opportunism. And right behind that, you guys, look. You had the ten of swords. You see this person is literally stabbed in the back. Backstab, betrayal, pain, rock bottom, defeat, crisis, desolation, endings, and bad luck. What's coming is an ending, you guys. I'm hearing also what I'm hearing is this was bound to happen. Like there was no other way around this, right? Because... And here, the, the the message I gave, like, this is you, the Empress, birthing something new. You're going to be successful at it. Whatever your rejection, your rejection, this rejecting this connection is going to open up opportunities for you. It's going to bring in a whole new creative spark, a new venture. The first step here, look, again, this same thing, you see it? The fatal event is going to be you choosing. Two paths, decisions, planning, progress, partnerships, stay or go, anticipation, travel. Right? Now, keep in mind, you guys, I say this all the time. I give this spiel. We all have free will. We all have free will. You can do whatever it is you want to do. You could choose whatever it is, whoever it is you want to cho choose. If you decide to stay with this person and give them another chance, just know that comes with, that comes with risk. Right? It comes with risk. And those risks that you take here... May not lead you to rewards. Because this person has some healing to do. They have some changing to do. They have some growing up to do. You know this as well as they do. Right? But if you decide to take this path of new. Look what you look where you're going. To the Ten of Cups. Satisfaction, marriage, harmony, blessings, good fortune, success, happy family, security, stability. This is like will of fortune energy. The ball is literally in your court at this point. And like I'm giving you this message you guys because... Don't block your blessings waiting for somebody to get themselves right. If it's meant for you and this person to come back together, you two will come back together. Okay? I'm hearing don't miss the boat. Don't miss the boat. Because what you have coming towards you was growing up for you. It depends on the action that you take um, with this connection. Right? There I go. Who, will, who I hear who who okay so for some of you you already have um you may have a new person or this who will you choose to literally be between yourself and this person it's like yes I love you but this time I love me more type of energy and look I split the deck y'all it was a necessary ending so that you can pursue the life you're destined to leave lead leave the past behind and I'm just going to go ahead and leave that reading here. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.